The holiday season can be a difficult one for family members of homicide victims. News Channel 5's Jason Lamb tells us about a Metro Police program that strives to help those family members honor the person they've lost. Good job, Jay. Is there a better place to be tonight? E, right? Not for Metro Police Family Intervention Program Advocate Barthina Messiha. We wanted to have options, so um, this is for his name. His name is Jose, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Barthina is helping Jose put together a bracelet on a special night. Is that it? Good job, Jose. Each year, the Metro Police Family Intervention Program preps for the Season to Remember ceremony when family members of homicide victims will display these ornaments to honor their loved ones. Like Christopher Davis, a sheriff's deputy who was killed at his second job as a security guard in 2005. Celebrating Christmas and other holidays for us was a, a thing that brought on a, a sense of guilt, like how can, I, how can I dare be happy when this has happened? And uh, this allows you to do that. It, it allows you to share that, uh, you know, grief shouldn't be shared, but comfort should be. But family members of crime victims aren't the only ones who benefit here. I'm an immigrant myself. I came here, we moved here 10 years ago. Um, and thankfully, we had a lot of people that helped us, and I want to give back and help the community, help my people. Help that the Family Intervention Program says can take years to get through the pain to the peace, something that advocates say this holiday season can be the greatest gift of all. It's a small little family, so for us to be here sharing this with them, it's a blessing, honestly. We're grateful to be here. Jason Lamb, News Channel 5 really is a beautiful perspective. Well, the ornaments that family members and others made today will be displayed at the Season to Remember ceremony. That is coming up Thursday evening at 545 at Centennial Park.